Welcome to this video in which we will give a short conceptual introduction of the steepest gradient descent algorithm, abbreviated as SGD. The steepest descent method has a rich history and is one of the simplest and best known unconstrained optimization methods to find a local minimum of a function. It works according the gradient, that's why it's also called gradient descent. However, Gradient descent should not be confused with the method of steepest descent for approximating integrals. While the steepest gradient descent method is not commonly used in practice, due to its slow confidence rate, understanding the convergence properties of this method can lead to a better understanding of many of the more sophisticated optimization methods. The mathematical problem can be described as finding the optimum of the multivariable function fx. An example of such a two-dimensional non-negative definite quadratic function is given in the plot. The gradient, which is a vector from which the elements represent the derivative along every dimension of x, plays an important role for defining the minimum or maximum of a multivariable function. For example, a closed analytical solution for the global minimum of the depicted non-negative definite function can be found by solving the value of the multivariable x for which the gradient is equal to zero. Further on, we will see that also the Hessian, which is a symmetric matrix, becomes important in the derivation of the stability properties of the SCG algorithm. A closed form solution for the optimum is generally difficult or not possible. In such situations, it becomes necessary to resort an iterative procedure in order to approximate the optimal solution. Given the multivariable function fx, and without assuming any a priori knowledge about the location of its minimum, we wish to devise a procedure that starts from an initial guess x0, and then update this initial guess in an update direction u weighted by a step size a into a new value x1 in such a way that the multivariable function decreases. Later on we will repeat this process until ultimately converging to the optimum. In this approach there are two issues. Namely, what is the best update direction u to minimize the multivariable function fx? and which step size a can we use. Given some initial guess x0, we can change this value in many possible directions u. With only one dimension, the function is minimal for x is x opt, as shown in the figure. The initial guess x0 can be larger or smaller than the optimal value x opt. Intuitively, the gradient evaluated at the initial guess x0 will give the slope of the function fx at x0 and its direction will point to an increase in the function. Thus, to lower the function value, we change the initial guess x0 in the opposite direction of the gradient, evaluated at the initial guess x0, which results in the multivariable case into the given update equation. In the appendix of the slides, you can find the main steps of the proof of this equation. It's obvious that we cannot choose just any value for the positive step size a. So the next issue is to derive a possible optimal choice for a. For this, we will use the following animation, which shows the first steps of the SGD algorithm. The animation shows an example of a two-dimensional non-negative definite quadratic function. The global minimum is denoted by a gray triangle. The initial guess, x0, is chosen at position 2.2, and the value of the function at this initial guess is denoted by a red bullet. The gradient, evaluated at this initial guess position, is a directional vector. The cross-section through the red bullet in this gradient direction is a one-dimensional curve. 
from this, it follows that we can find an optimal step size A star in such a way that we jump in the negative direction of the gradient from the initial gas position X0 to a new position X1, which is located at the minimum of the one-dimensional curve. So we can use any one-dimensional optimization algorithm to find in each new step the optimal value A star. In this optimum we can derive the following important property by evaluating the derivative of the multivariable function f with respect to the step size A, evaluated at the new position x1. By using the chain rule, the result writes as the dot or inner product of the gradient factor, evaluated at the new position x1, with the negative gradient factor evaluated at the initial position x0. The optimal step size can be found by making this inner product equal to zero. Thus when choosing the optimal step size a star, the two gradient factors are perpendicular. That is, the method of steepest descent pursues completely independent search directions from one iteration to the other. This causes that the method will zigzag from the initial guess to the minimum. Another possibility for the inner product of the two vectors to become zero is that the gradient factor evaluated at the new position x1 is equal to zero. This implies that the new position x1 is the value for which the multivariable function fx is optimal. A few of these steps are shown in the animation and we see that the result indeed comes closer and closer to the global minimum. For the special case when the multivariable function fx is a quadratic function, we can find an explicit value for the optimal step size a star as follows. With the new position x1 is x0 minus a times the gradient, the multivariable function f at the new position x1 can be evaluated exactly by using the first three terms of the Taylor expansion in which the gradient factor and the Hessian matrix are evaluated at x0. Calculating the derivative of this equation with respect to the step size parameter a and making the result equal to zero results into the given expression in blue for the optimal step size a star for the special case that the multivariable function f is quadratic. Finally, it's noted that this expression represents the inverse of the so-called Rayleigh quotient. We will use this expression in the follow-up video where we apply the SGD algorithm to update the filter coefficients of an RAR filter. The SGD algorithm is a procedure to find a local minimum of a multivariable function fx. We start the procedure with an initial guess x0 and we evaluate the norm or length of the gradient factor x0 denoted by g0. Furthermore, we defined a tolerance with which we can control the update loop. We have seen that, no matter how many variables we have, once we have chosen our search direction as the negative direction of the gradient, the optimal step size A star can be found by using any one-dimensional optimization algorithm. For the special case in which the multivariable function fx is quadratic, the one-dimensional optimization algorithm to find the optimal step size A star can be replaced by the inverse Rayleigh coefficient. This optimal step size is used to evaluate the new value of the variable x. The next step is to evaluate the norm of the gradient factor at this new value and the update loop will stop if the norm of the gradient factor is close enough to zero, which implies the minimum has been reached with a required accuracy. Depending on the shape of the multivariable function fx, the optimal step size a star has to be recalculated every new iteration. A practical alternative is to replace this optimal step size by a fixed step size, denoted by the variable alpha. 
and the calculation of the optimal step size A star can be skipped in the while loop of the SGD algorithm. This animation shows the first steps of the SGD algorithm with a fixed step size alpha. This animation shows the mesh plot of the learning curves of the SGD algorithm. The first animation shows the optimal step size case. The next two animations show the results for the fixed step size case for two different step sizes. By choosing a small step size, here alpha is 0.025, the algorithm needs many iterations to convert to the minimum, with a required accuracy. On the other hand, the conversion is roughly four times faster when choosing a step size which is four times larger. Here, alpha is 0.1. The optimal step size A star is such that the algorithm jumps to a new value for x which is closest to the minimum of the multivariable function fx. And depending on the shape of fx, this optimal step size a star will change every new iteration. This implies that the fixed step size alpha has to be bounded by the lower bound of all possible optimal step sizes a star. In case of a quadratic function, the lower bound can be determined by the inverse Rayleigh coefficient. We will use this expression in a follow-up video where we apply the SGD algorithm to update the filter coefficients of an FAR filter. This ends this video in which we explain the concept of the steepest gradient descent algorithm. This algorithm can take many iterations to compute a local minimum with the required accuracy. If the curvature in different directions is very different, for the given multivariable function. For such functions, preconditioning, which changes the geometry of the shape of the multivariable function into concentric circles, cures the slow convergence. The last slide of the appendix shows the main steps to calculate such preconditioning for the special case when the multivariable function is quadratic. In such a case, it is shown that the preconditioning of the update is achieved by pre-multiplication the negative gradient by the inverse of the Hessian matrix. The optimal step size in this case is equal to 1. We will come back to this preconditioning issue in the follow-up video which deals with the development of an iterative alternative of the Wiener filter for the FAR case. Thank you for your attention.